welcome. I'm Kim from Ocean Vayu Yoga, and we are going to be doing yoga for seniors today. Okay, before we begin, I'm going to ask all of you to take a moment and press the little subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's red and it says subscribe in white letters. Go ahead and press that now. We would really appreciate it. And thank you so much. And then we'll get started today. I have a blanket here with me, so if you have one or a towel, go ahead and grab that. And I also have some blocks, but if you don't have blocks, um, another towel or two will work just as good. So go ahead, take your blanket or your towel and place it underneath your tailbone, right back behind you. Just so that you're sitting right on the edge of it so that your knees can hang down a little bit lower. We're going to find a straight spine so you want to have the crown of your head over your heart and over your hips draw your shoulders back relax your hands in your lap okay we're going to begin to take some nice deep conscious breaths you're welcome to close your eyes you're also welcome to gaze down towards your mat and we're just going to begin to feel the breath rise to fill our chest and exhale, feel it release. Inhale, feel the ribs expand. And exhale, feel them release. Inhale, feel your belly expand. And exhale, feel it release. If you would like to try placing your hands on your lower ribs with your thumb, back behind you and other fingers out in front, elbows to the sides as you inhale. Feel the ribs expand in all directions. So back behind you, out in front and out to the sides. As you exhale, feel it release. Inhale, feel the expansion. Exhale, feel the release. Now place your hands on your belly, inhale, feel the expansion in your belly, exhale, feel it release. Place your hands on your chest or your collarbone, inhale, feel the expansion, exhale, feel the release. Now keep one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly, inhale. Feel the expansion, exhale, feel the release. You can rest your hands in your lap if you have it now. We'll do five more breaths. Good, last exhale. You can flutter your eyes open if you would like. Now, if your legs are getting tired of sitting like this or you're feeling too much strain in the inner thigh, you can grab your blocks or another towel or two and place them underneath your knees to give you some support here. If you're fine, don't worry about it. If your knees are up super high, you can take your blocks and place them up high as well. It's just going to help take away some of the strain if you're working on holding them up rather than thinking about your breath or the posture that we're working on. So do whatever you need to do so that you're comfortable and that you're able to breathe freely because yoga really is all about the breath. Okay, so now on your next exhale, so take a deep inhale. Exhale, drop your chin down towards your chest. Inhale, raise your gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, chin down to chest. Inhale, gaze up to the sky. One more time. Exhale, chin down to chest. Inhale, gaze up to the sky. Exhale, gaze back to center. Take a full breath. 
Exhale, gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. One more time each side. Good, now drop your right ear down to your right shoulder. Take a deep breath. Exhale, back to center. Left ear over to the left shoulder. And inhale, back to center. One more time, each side. Good, and release your hands by your sides. We're going to inhale and flip our palms up to face the sky, gazing upward, connect our palms, and exhale, hands come down, chin comes down to chest. Inhale, arms rise up, and exhale, hands down, chin down to chest. One more, inhale, and exhale, chin comes down to chest. Now inhale, take just your right arm up, walk your left fingertips out, sink into your left elbow, and reach your arm over your ear. Try to straighten this top arm as much as you can. So opposed to the arm being bent or rounded, we want to reach and straighten and bring those fingertips towards the corner of your room where the ceiling meets the wall. Take another breath. Exhale, and then we're just going to head right on over to the other side. Bend deep into your right elbow. Reach your left arm. Again, try to straighten the elbow as much as you can. Keep both sit bones pressed down to the earth. So the sit bone is the bony part of your bottom rather than having it lift up off of the mat or the towel or blanket, whatever you're using. Press it down and reach. Take one more breath. Exhale, and inhale, rise up with both arms, both arms being parallel, palms facing each other, and take a big stretch. Good, on the exhale, we're gonna twist to our right and take our hands down wherever they go. So maybe one's gonna be out in front, maybe you can reach your knee. Your back hand is just right back behind you. Gaze back at your shoulder, unless that hurts your neck, then gaze wherever is comfortable for you. I want you to find that smooth, steady breath with the expansion in the rib cage, the expansion in your belly, and do two more breaths. Good, and inhale, arms rise back up, and right on over to the other side. Let your hands relax wherever they fall. If you want to try to go a little deeper, you can bring your hand to your knee. As long as you're able to keep your breath steady and smooth, then you know that you're in a good position. If your breath becomes labored, then I want you to back out a little bit, okay? And the same thing goes with every single pose that we do today. If your breath becomes labored or shortened and you're unable to keep that smooth, steady breath, then back out of the pose when you need to. Okay, we're gonna inhale and sweep our arms straight back up. Take a full deep breath and really stretch. And on the exhale, we're gonna bring our hands out in front. We're gonna make tents with our fingers. So we're gonna grip the floor with our fingertips and we're gonna walk them forward. And I want you to hold right here. Lift your chest or your sternum up towards the sky, let your shoulders relax back. Lift your tailbone up back behind you so it begins to arch your back. Okay, take a breath here. And exhale, maybe you're able to come another inch forward. Exhale. Inhale, reach the chest up, shoulders back, tailbone up. And exhale, maybe you're able to come another inch forward. Keep the integrity of your spine here as opposed to rounding. We're gonna try to keep the back nice and straight. 
If you're able to go any further down, continue to move with your breath. You inhale, lengthen, and exhale, walk the fingers forward. Keeping the back nice and straight. We're going to take one more deep breath, whether you're stationary or you're still moving downward. Exhale. And slowly back your way out. Good. Now we're going to bring our knees together and we're going to straighten our legs. Go ahead and take the blanket out from underneath. Straighten your legs out on your mat and give them a little shake. Now, if it is uncomfortable for you to sit with your legs outstretched, you can take your blanket, roll it up a little bit more, and place it underneath your legs. Just under um, the, the space right behind your knee, okay? Okay, if you don't need this, then you can go ahead and take it out. We're coming into Dandasana or Staff Pose. So we take our toes and point them up to the sky and we firm up the top of our thighs by pulling our kneecaps back behind us. We try to sit nice and tall. So you may need to pull the fleshy part of your bottom out of the way to have that happen. Okay. We're taking our shoulders back behind us. Now, everybody's going to be a little different with the length of your arms compared to the length of your torso. So for me, I can place my hands down right here and be fine. Now, you may find that you need to have your hands a little bit further back. Maybe that's uncomfortable for your wrists and you want to take your hands and spin them. So see where you need to be to be able to ground your hands down into the mat. Okay, so anywhere here is perfect. Now lift your heart. Make sure your shoulders are drawing back and that your toes are still up towards the sky. Continue with your full deep breaths. We're going to do two more. Good, and then you can rest a moment. Take a breath. So that pose seems innocent enough until you stay in it a couple of breaths and you realize that it's a little bit harder than meets the eye. We're really beginning to get the spine to learn to be straight, really beginning to stretch out the hamstrings and learning to breathe deeply into our ribs with a nice straight spine. So the next version of this pose Engage the legs again, take the toes up to the sky, pull the shoulders back, and we're going to inhale and reach our arms up overhead. We're keeping our palms parallel, fingertips towards the sky, palms facing each other, and we're going to breathe here. One more deep breath. And on the exhale, we're going to bring our hands down to our legs. You can relax the legs a little now. So we're going to begin to walk our hands forward. Whatever that means for you. If they're right here and they're staying right here on your shins, we're going to leave them here. If we're going to bring them down to the ankles, you decide what works best for you. If this is becoming uncomfortable for you, back it up or you can revisit your towel and place that back underneath your legs. Maybe you find you're able to stretch the back muscles a little bit more because this pose is, yes, we're stretching the hamstrings, but as the song says, everything is connected. You know, the skeleton song. So we're going to also stretch the whole back too as we fold. Okay, so find whatever position works for you and come to a steady breath. Do two more. Good, and slowly come back up. Okay, we're gonna make our way onto our hands and knees now. 
So if your knees are troublesome, take your blanket. I want you to unroll it one time. And then you're going to place your knees right on your blanket. Spread your fingers wide. You want to place your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. This is tabletop. And we're going to begin cat-cow pose. We're going to inhale, lift our gaze, lift our tailbone, and pull our shoulders back. Exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your belly. Inhale, gaze up, and exhale, gaze towards your belly. Inhale, and exhale. Two more. Good, come back to your neutral tabletop, take a breath. Exhale it out. We're going to incorporate child's pose here. So we're going to inhale, lift our heart. I'm sorry, we're going to inhale, lift our gaze. Exhale, round our spine and push back to our child's pose. Inhale, come back up. Cow pose, lift your gaze, lift your tailbone. Exhale, round your spine, push back to child's pose. One more. Inhale and exhale for this one when we exhale back down take your knees a little wide take your toes towards each other and sink down we're going to let our head relax down and we're going to hold here for three breaths good and rise back up Okay, so now we're going to thread the needle. We're going to lift our right arm, reach it up towards the sky, and exhale, we're going to weave it through and drop our shoulder towards the mat. Now, if this is too much for you, I want you to take your blanket or your block to place it underneath your shoulder or your head, wherever you're feeling that it is a little too much. And the block would go right underneath your shoulder or your head. Gaze towards your fingers. Good, and we'll come back up and try the other side. Now, if you didn't need the block, then don't worry about it, or you may find that one side is more open than the other and that maybe you don't need the block on this side. One more breath, and we'll come back up. Good, move your knees back together, and we're gonna go ahead and curl our toes under. Lifting the hips up nice and high, pedal out your heels. So press the right heel down, press the left heel down. Good, now press both heels down and begin to walk your hands to your feet and your feet to your hands. If your blanket is in the way, go ahead, fold it up and move it aside. I don't want you tripping over it, so be very careful. And then once you come to a forward fold, take as long as you need to, grab opposite elbows and let your head relax down. Gently sway side to side have your head, your arms, and your torso all move as one. Now let your fingers dangle. Bend deep into your knees, round your spine, and rise all the way up. Take your arms with you. Palms connect overhead, and exhale, hands by your sides. Walk your way to the top of your mat. And we're going to come into warrior two pose. So I want you to step your right leg back behind you and turn your toes to face the side of your mat. Bend deep into your left knee and then take your arms to a T. 
gaze over your left middle finger unless that bothers your neck then you can gaze wherever is comfortable for you take a quick peek at your back arm it's going to want to sneak down when you're not looking so keep a backwards glance at it occasionally if you need to and keep that arm the same height as your shoulder one more breath and exhale relax your hands down and straighten your front leg take another deep breath exhale we're coming into side angle so we're going to take our forearm and place it down on our thigh and reach our right arm over our ear we're going to create a straight line from our fingertips all the way down to the edge of our foot Gaze again wherever is comfortable. Good. Rise up and take a nice deep breath. Exhale. And now triangle pose. Take your arms to a T and then we're going to drop our left arm down to the inside of our leg, right arm up towards the sky. Five deep breaths. Good. Arms back to your T and relax your hands down. So now we're just going to pivot our feet to face the other direction so that we can do the other side. Okay, so right toes now point to the back of your mat, left toes to the side arms to a T, bend deep into your right knee, and we're coming into warrior two on the other side. Remember to keep a glance at your back arm, keeping both hands the same height. Good, and exhale, relax your hands down, straighten your front leg, and take a deep breath. Exhale, and now we bend back into our right knee, take our forearm down onto our thigh, and reach our left arm over our ear. Nice, and we rise back up. Exhale, take a deep breath. Exhale it out, and we come into triangle. Arms back to a T, drop your right hand down to the inside of your leg, and left arm up. Five deep breaths. The same breathing as we did in the beginning, expanding the chest, the ribs, and the belly. And inhale, rise back up, and exhale, relax your hands down. Now heel toe your feet back together, and give everything a shake. And a spin. Get a good spin going, let your heels come up off the floor. Let your hands hit your hips. And we'll come right into tree pose. So hands come to your heart. I want you to anchor down through your feet just like a tree has its roots and it anchors down into the earth and then we're reaching the crown of our head up towards the sky like a tree would with its branches so we want to think about that lengthening we're going to start with the right foot we come up onto the toes and we take the knee out to the side now you can just bring your foot up against your ankle if your balance is wobbly today, you can also go grab the wall if you need to, or a chair. If you want to go further, place the foot up onto the ankle or the calf. Keep pressing the knee back behind you. And if your balance is good and you want to try, you can always lift the arms.
And on the exhale, release your hands back down to your heart if they were up. And then release that leg. Give a little shake. And we'll try the other side. Okay, hands back to your heart. Lengthen, ground down through your feet. Take a deep breath. Keep your eyes steady on one point. And then we'll try the left foot. Come up onto the toes. Take the knee out to the side. Press the sole of the foot on your ankle. If your balance is good, lift it up. Maybe up to the calf. Keep pressing the knee away from you. And if you're good here, you can raise your arm. One more breath. And then return your hands to your heart. And then release that leg. Good. Give a little shake. And this way. Okay, we're going to make our way back down to the ground. Okay, so get there however you need to. If you want to come down onto your knees. If you practice yoga regularly and want to go through a sun salutation, you can do that. Just meet us down here when you're ready. Take as much time as you need to. Once you get down, we're going to take the soles of our feet to touch. Now you may need your blocks or your blanket underneath your knees here. So if you do, go ahead and grab them if this is too intense for you. If you don't need it, then don't worry. Keep your spine nice and straight. You can close your eyes if you'd like, and we're just going to breathe here. One more deep breath, and exhale. Bring your knees back together. We're going to lie down now, so if you need to scoot forward so that your head is on the mat, go ahead and do that. I want you to bring your hands to the back of your legs, pull your belly towards your spine, and slowly lower yourself down. Once you get down, take the soles of your feet to touch again. Let your knees fall out to the side. If you need your blanket or your blocks, place them underneath your knees. Now interlace your fingers, flip your palms, and press your palms away from you, and inhale, sweep your arms up and over your head. Exhale. Take them back down. Inhale, arms come up. And exhale, hands back down. Let's do two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale, hands come down, bring your knees back together. Separate your feet hip width distance apart, rest your hands down on the floor. Take a nice deep breath. And slowly exhale. We're going to do bridge pose. So on your next inhale, go ahead and lift your Heart and roll your shoulders under and then lift your hips up off of the mat. Now your hips may come up an inch or two, they may come up nice and high. Either way, we're still reaping the same benefits. We're going to hold for two more breaths. If you need to come down sooner, do so. And exhale, relax back down, take a breath, and exhale, and a 
again. We'll come back up. Keep pressing your feet down. Don't let your feet curl up to the sides. One more breath. And exhale right back down. Take a breath. And exhale. Let your knees knock in the middle. Separate your feet. Bring your hands to your belly. And just feel your belly rise and fall. One more breath. And exhale. Bring your feet back in line with your hips. And one at a time, bring your knees in towards your chest. Grab hold of your knees or your shins and gently rock side to side. So we're now going to take our legs up towards the sky. So you may be able to have your legs up without the support of your hands, or this may be a little tricky for you, in which case you're going to want to support your legs here. If you need to bend them, that's okay, you go ahead and bend them. So you do what you need to do to keep your feet elevated, and if it becomes too much, you can go ahead and again bring your knees in towards your chest. We're going to stay for five more breaths. Good, and then we'll all bring our knees into our chest and gently rock side to side. Now go ahead and let your knees fall off to the right side of your mat. If this is too intense, take your blanket or your block and place it underneath your bottom knee if your bottom knee is up off of the floor. If your bottom knee is down, but your top knee is not touching your bottom knee, put the blanket in between. If you don't need it, then don't worry about it. Take your arms to a T and gaze towards your left. I want you to slow down your breath here. One more deep inhale, exhale, and bring your knees right back to center. Bring your block or blanket with you if you were using one, and then drop them over to the other side, prop as you need to. And gaze to the right. One more slow, deep breath. And right back to center. And we'll get ready for final relaxation. So you're going to straighten your legs. Now notice how it feels to be lying flat. We're not usually used to being flat on our backs when we're lying down. We're usually on our bed, which has a pillow. So our body may not be used to this. If you want to try, if you feel any tension in your low back, try putting your blanket underneath your knees. See if that releases the tension. If your neck or shoulders are feeling uncomfortable, instead take the blanket and place it underneath your head. Do 
Do whatever you need to do to be comfortable so that you can lie here nice and still and reap all of the benefits of our practice. Take your palms to face up towards the sky. Eyes are closed. And let your breathing return back to normal. We'll stay here for a couple of moments and I'll let you know when it's time to rise back up. If you have time to stay longer, feel free to do so. Otherwise, we're going to begin to wiggle our fingers and toes. Take our arms up and over our head. Big stretch. And exhale right there. When you're ready, begin to bring your knees in towards your chest. Take one at a time and gently rock side to side. Go ahead and roll over onto your right side. Curl into a little ball. You can use your arm as a pillow. Take another breath. Exhale and slowly, keeping your eyes closed or your gaze low, push yourselves back up to seated. If you need to sit on your blanket or prop underneath your knees, do so. Bring your hands to your hearts. Close your eyes. And we're just going to take some mindful breaths here. And just noticing how we feel. Noticing that deep sense of peace within. And trying to bring that peace with us for as long as we can, bringing it to all that we meet. Let's spread that peace throughout our world. Take a full deep breath. Exhale. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this practice. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much. Peace and love to all of you. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.